This is real, this is me, and I'm turning into somebody who sings when they talk. Let's get this shit poppin', am I right guys? You're not upset with me, are you? And in my head I'm like, a little. Are my areolas like almost out? Yes. I'm Colette. It smells like trees and dirt everywhere, it's nice. Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Colette. I'm Colette. That's a, just panko and dill right now. Salmon. We're making veggies, and then we're gonna have angel hair pasta roni. This is the best. I'm trying to see what I want for a backdrop. This one kind of caught my eye. I should have made a decision before I came here. This is the one that I ended up getting. I felt like a silky fabric would look really pretty. Oh my god, I'm okay. I swear to god I heard him say hello yesterday. Look how pretty your eyes are. <laughs> Marvin like a Marvin! That's what my dad used to always say. He's alive, we have a relationship, he just lives in Florida. Let's get this shit poppin', am I right guys? Give me a high. Boom! I bought a pair of jeans the other day. Hello? Oh my god, like the Sorry. shit out of me. I was like, are we getting robbed? <laughs> so I went into Lowe's and I'm picking up picking out all my like indoor plants. Here's all of them right here. And this lady comes up to me. Do you think this plant is healthier or this one? And I'm like, she doesn't think I work here, right? And then I'm like, no, I'm wearing a crop top. She definitely doesn't think I work here. So I start this nice conversation with her. I'm sorry if it's loud. It's fucking, 72 is hot for me. Uh, and then she goes, I just gotta tell you something. And I go, okay. And she goes, your eye wrinkles are so bad. <laughs> Her eye cream, like I'm trying to make them go away. And she's like 50 and she's like, look, like I don't even have eye wrinkles that bad. Like, <laughs> Just fucking going in and roasting me so hard. It was so fucked up. I was like, fuck you. She was like, you're not upset with me, are you? And in my head, I'm like, a little. To repot all these, all these new babies I got. Aren't they nice? Il est quelle heure? Il est quelle heure? What time is it? Il est quelle heure? Il est quelle heure? Me. My dog is finally getting here after a week of being apart from her. I didn't think it was gonna take this long, but I'm so freaking excited to see her. I think that might be one. That's them, that's them. It's the next day. Arya is here with me. Today all my boxes arrived. I am actually going to Laguna Beach and meeting up with my friend Sophia, who I have not seen since before I moved to New York. So I'm super excited to see her. Wearing beachy pants that like in this giraffe set. Are my areolas like almost out? Yes. Girls are out to party and I'm not feeling any shame because they're natural and who gives a fuck? And there should not be any shame on women's bodies anymore. Thank you. It's another day to leave, go to the mountains for the day. on the mountain ah! got the dog park up here to ourselves i fucking love it up here i'm just happy it's quiet the air is really crisp and clear and it's just like it smells like trees and dirt everywhere it's nice Hi, this might be my most disorganized vlog. So I've just been thinking a lot about social media and how I'm pretty bored with it. I've said this many times before in my vlogs, but I just feel like a narcissist. Picture after picture after picture of me, I'm not really saying anything of any value. I'm just posting pictures of myself and it feels very empty and just stupid to me. I 
feel like my my message for the longest time has just been wanting to make people feel understood and make people not feel alone in what they're going through specifically with heartache my voice has mostly been saying fuck this guy he broke my heart which valid and i still want people to relate to that and feel like i can give them a voice to what they're thinking and what they're going through i want to evolve it a little bit more you know from my own experiences and from hearing the experiences of people around me every single woman i know has either been Trigger warning, by the way. Trigger warning, I'm talking about assault and some heavier subjects. So literally every single woman I know has been the R word, assaulted, or has been at the very least harassed. That is traumatizing. But I just want to be a voice that's like, fuck the rules. Fuck what society is saying. I can dress like a quote unquote slut one day. It doesn't mean I'm asking for anything. It doesn't mean I'm wanting anything. And I can be a good girl the next day and I can be both and I can do anything I want. And it shouldn't have to come with all these preconceived notions about who you think I am. Little things that really shouldn't matter. And things that shouldn't be signifying that I owe you shit. I said that in the most eloquent way, if I put that together the best, but the way I feel is I just want to be a powerhouse and I want to empower and I want to be a role model to strong, opinionated, sexy women. And that's it. So that's the evolution I'm going through right now in my own life and that I want to see on my social medias and through my music. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> This is real, this is me, and I'm turning into somebody who sings when they talk. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next week. Goodbye.